Welcome again Aquarius, it's December 2016 already. I'm Didici. It's um, important that we review the year, but uh, for you it's pretty significant that there are four planets in your 11th house of friendships, social activities and networking. And I want to talk about this because I'm a little bit annoyed and I've talked about this uh, maybe on one or two blogs that I've done regarding this term friendship. I think it's essential that we talk about how this term has been redefined by social media and the internet and just the general attitude of people over the past few years. I'm just astounded at what passes for friendship and actions in friendship now uh, would never have been tolerated 20 years ago. Unfortunately, some 20 year olds now have no other yardstick by which to measure friendship. So, you know, saying hello to someone on Facebook and never getting a response from them is, is nothing. That's, that's cool. Just don't feel like saying hello. Forget it. That's friendship. <laughs> Not. So the new moon that's just taken place in your 11th house, Aquarius, Sun, Saturn, new moon, Mercury, all in the 11th house. Very strongly weighted in this area of activity and the new moon indicating, probably just as I am feeling right now, a necessity to redefine what that actually means. For you, this is vitally important because Aquarius is the natural ruler of the 11th house in the zodiac. If you take the sign of Aries as the starting point, Aquarius falls in the 11th slice of the pie. There's 12 slices of the heavenly pie, as I call it, and Aquarius is naturally inclined to this. And right now you also have Mars transiting your sun sign, giving it great weight. Then later in the month around the, where am I here, the 8th, Venus, friendly planet, is going to move also into your sun sign. So there's a, a few threads here. The theme definitely at the end of this year is friendship. Who are you going to include? Who are you going to exclude? What is it that you define as a true friend? I think this is the theme for you. I, I find it a, an interesting one. And having also the Sun and Saturn uh, conjunction around the 8th or 9th, I think, uh, the 10th to be precise, yes, the 10th, uh, Saturn is one of your ruling planets. Sun is the marital and the partnership planet. This again is showing us the responsibility, the heaviness of heart maybe that some of you at least are feeling with respect to friends. And Saturn is, look, they say all of the planets function well in the 11th house, but there are times where we have to reappraise the, you know, the idea, the concept of friendship and what does it mean and is it mutual enough or, you know, is there a reciprocation in those relationships? So. These are the sorts of things under review for you, I believe, at the end of this year. Also, the 11th house has to do with your cherished ideals, the desires that you have in life. And we see there are some obstructions there. Some of those desires are very secret because you've got the North Node or the Karmic Point transiting that 8th house of your horoscope. The 8th house is that hidden part of the horoscope, secret desires, sexuality, intimacy those areas may not be altogether fulfilling. If you've been using friendships and social uh, situations as a means of overcompensating for some other problem that you've got there in your relationships, as shown by the Sun-Saturn uh, conjunction coming up, then you're not going to be fulfilled in that area. And we also see the <coughs> planet ruling that eighth house, Mercury, is going to go retrograde on the 19th. So some big revisions are going on there. Decisions that you may want to make that you're, you know, you're pussyfooting around on, you're procrastinating on. You may have to for a while longer because you, you may need a little bit more information. That eighth house is also to do with research, D you know, digging down deep, uh, drilling into the, the bedrock to get the answers that you want. And that's a good thing. You don't want to be impulsive. Impulse is also something you must be on guard against throughout this last month of the year. Why? Because Mars, the planet of career for you, uh, is transiting your sun sign. That also makes you injury prone. It makes you hot-headed. We see also that there 
um, in the last month or so has been a right angle between Sun and Mars coming from your workplace so the likely area that you're still sort of ruminating over is that workplace uh, situation employers who are doing the wrong thing by you uh, friends in the workplace I say friends because you're redefining that remember uh, may not have been uh, dealing you a fair hand so these are all the things that you're going through right now and you should be going through that retrograde mercury will continue its backward path up until the middle part of uh, well maybe the earlier part of January so it's at that point you'll be better equipped equipped to make uh, decisions uh, in all of these areas that I've mentioned today now I hope that's been of help to you uh, I hope it's a merry prosperous safe Christmas notwithstanding Mars and I do look forward to having your company here next year in the meantime don't forget to join me at astrology.com.au we're just about to put up the yearly um, overviews for each of the 12 star signs a more in-depth analysis uh, of what's happening in 2017 and that's available there completely free take care see you again and thank you for joining me throughout the year bye bye